just uh, a quick video to give you an overview of how powerful this Power App system is within Office 365. Uh, this program I built over the top of a SharePoint or a number of SharePoint lists in order to manage a vehicle booking system uh, for our company and just wanted to quickly overview it. I'm not going to go into the detail of uh, how I got to the results that I do but if you'd like to do them just let me know and I probably could build some formulas and things like that to show you how it's done. But literally it's got the step one, step two, the user comes in, selects the zone that we operate to um, if it's southeast and the sites are based on the zone uh, go to east west and I go to the FBW site and I then update the vehicle list okay all the vehicles that were in that in that particular organization are found here now I can drill down very quickly if it's uh, there when I click on that vehicle and go across to the right the details are there I can update it and save it and any details are changed and that's managing the details if I want to archive this vehicle and not see it again, it's just a matter of archiving and save. If I want to add a new vehicle to their list, it's a matter of going to our Add New Vehicle page, putting in the details, and you'll see there's compulsory fields here. Um, if I go back, I want to do a fuel card audit. Every vehicle gets fuel cards, so basically the, the, card come, the vehicle comes up at the top, and the vehicles are on the right. Once you've audited it, that card, notice that the list starts to depreciate by each increment that you audit. Uh, and if a vehicle's not there, you can put notes with that list. When it's fully audited, uh, will be zero, and that'll tell you you've done your job. If I go back to the home screen now, it actually resets the vehicle list, uh, and next time you go in, you can reaudit the lot again. Uh, servicing schedule, I haven't built in at the moment. Bookings calendar, uh, this takes all the bookings for the particular site that I'm looking at, uh, and puts them in a calendar that's 21 days in size. Um, each one of these is a gallery at the top of the thing when I highlight over the top if I click on there I can make a new booking it takes me to the new booking screen and guess what uh, it filters the list on the left telling me I've got 26 vehicles available in which I can do a booking between the two dates that I've come across by default if I uh, click on that one vehicle that's the one I want it automatically puts it into uh, the vehicle selected area uh, pick up times drop off times uh, if I change the dates and go OK. Um, you'll see here date change. You need to reset the list. I've got to refresh the list. OK, there's still all those vehicles available. If I save this booking, uh, there's certain data uh, that I've got to put in. I'm not going to save it because it's working on a SharePoint list, which is live. And I'm going to return to my calendar. OK, if I click on a vehicle on the day, I can go to that vehicle and I can see I can't edit the vehicle. If I ever want to edit the vehicle, I've got to archive it and do a new booking. So that keeps that record in the back of the file. And there's that booking for this list. I can change the dates, uh, booking by, and go there. So that's really the booking system. We can go and we can look at the day view of the bookings. That'll show us the bookings for a day. And if I click down the list, you go down, you'll see the right-hand side quickly changes. I can change them. I can add a new booking from this screen. I'll go back to the home screen. I can do a, a list of returns for the day. We've got one return uh, based coming in. Uh, and I can take a action against that. If I want to add a new booking from the screen, I can. So that's a quick overview of how powerful Power Apps is, uh, that we can take advantage of some tools that can make our workplace so much more user-friendly. hope this all makes sense.